to be real with y'all, I remember once speaking to a man who said, you know, if you ever speak about cheating, make sure you let women know that a lot of times this doesn't start sexually, it starts emotionally. And so, you know, his situation was the emotional fulfillment for him was not there, right? Plus, this, the sexual part was an issue, but that wasn't the catalyst to him essentially going outside the relationship. It was he didn't feel supported. He didn't feel loved. He didn't feel respected. He, he didn't feel like he had a cheerleader. I don't want to use the word cheerleader, but that woman that really believed in him and poured into him in that way. And then you meet some other woman. He meets some other woman who's hyping him up and pouring into him and stroking that ego and saying how amazing he is and making him feel good about himself. And then what draws him in emotionally then can lead into something physically, all right? But so let's just say it's an emotional issue, okay? Or or let's go back to sex only because you'll see what I had to use sex again. So let's say it's a sexual issue. And that man goes and speaks to other people that know him and, and his partner, right? And talks about, oh, you know, things have been kind of rough with intimacy. You know, believe it or not, and some of y'all may have experienced this for yourselves, the outside folks would be like, oh, that's not a reason to, to leave. You know, you should stay and work it out. You know, just, just keep going. Just keep patient, being patient. So essentially, a lot of people, because naturally the people who are in your circle don't want to see you get divorced, don't want to see you break up, if, especially if they like this person and they want to believe this is a good relationship. So they're always going to encourage you to just keep pushing forward. But unfortunately, that doesn't really resolve the underlying issue that's creating this disconnect in the relationship. And so what happens is the man, and I know, I know for a fact a lot of women have experienced this on their end as well, but we're talking about men right now, where the man feels like he's not given any validation to leave for this reason, okay? If he leaves for this reason, it's, oh, you're shallow, oh, you're this, or you weren't serious, or you didn't love. Like, he's demonized for feeling some way about not having his needs met and wanting to walk away from the relationship. So instead, in, in not getting at least support in making that decision, he tries to push along he continues to maybe suppress his need for whatever he's lacking, but then eventually he goes and gets it somewhere else. All right? So it's this dynamic where, again, I really feel the need to bring in, make the point that women have felt that pressure too, where a woman cannot be having her needs met by her partner. And when she talks to other people, it's like, I can't tell you how many times I've heard a woman, maybe a woman who even got cheated on, who was prepared to leave her man or was contemplating leaving her man or her husband because he she found out he cheated and then goes to maybe her mother, her aunt, whoever, and they'll be like, every man cheats. You know, I, I dealt with it. Like she, they're rationalizing why she should just stay. So now, even though she feels a void, she feels like she can't just walk away. Everyone's telling her, oh, just sweep it under the rug. But if there's something that's lacking that she's not getting, that can lead to her door being open of now she steps out the relationship. But anyways, back to me. I just want to use that because I know there's a lot of women that that's going to resonate with. And so ultimately, that's what happens for a lot of people. They just, they, a lot of people want to be told it's okay for you to walk away. And when they're not told that, they feel the pressure of just trying to deal with it, but then still end up crossing lines they shouldn't have crossed. All right, so let's keep this thing going. So here's another reason. Hopefully you're still with me. Hopefully none of this has pissed you off. <laughs> all right? And again, I'm laughing, but I, you know you know, I'm all about giving this message with love and just giving y'all clarity, helping y'all understand things on a deeper level. So another common reason why men will not leave before cheating on a woman is because for that man, cheating is a lifestyle. All right? Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all may already know I come from a Caribbean background. I am, I'm Haitian, okay? Now, I am not putting this on all <laughs> Haitian men or all Caribbean men, right? I will say that I had some uncles growing up who, when I, whenever I would see them as a child, their question wouldn't be, do you have a girlfriend? Their question would be, how many girlfriends you got, <laughs> all right? And so there are some men 
who cheating is just what you do in in relationships. Cheating is just what you do in marriage. Like there's men out there who believe, and I'm just telling you what they believe. I am not again co-signing this. They believe that having a side chick is healthy because it helps strengthen the relationship, the main relationship. Again, I'm just telling you what their thinking is. Because to them, it's like, all right, by, by having this woman on the side who can give them whatever their main woman cannot, it allows them to be cool with what they're getting at home, still get their needs met, and in their eyes, everyone's happy. Everyone's winning, all right? So again, and I just want to say real quick, I really don't want y'all to think all Caribbean men <laughs> are, also, are, are cheating as a lifestyle. That's not what I'm saying, all right? I just wanted to use that example real quick. Of some of the things I've seen. But anyways, back to the main point. Um, the reality is that, yes, these men live this way. So to them, there's never the thought of, oh, I'm going to leave. Whether I, I feel like something's missing or not. No, because to them, the solution is not leaving. The solution is cheating. That's their solution to the problem. You see? And those men who are living it as a lifestyle, I have to be real with y'all. They tend to be very skilled at choosing women that they feel like they have a better chance of being able to pull that off with, all right? So, and that's not to insult any woman who has accepted that lifestyle. And, and it's different. It's one thing, and again, I'm not here to say, to, argue, to make the argument of right or wrong right now, but I know there's a lot of alternative relationships out there. And if someone comes into a relationship agreeing to a certain lifestyle, that's between those two as adults, right? However, there are what I'm talking about as far as this man strategically picking a woman who he can get, he can do this with. It's not necessarily her agreeing to it. It's just him having him being able to see that she'll probably suck it up and deal with it. All right. And there's various reasons why a woman will deal with it. And again, we are not here to judge or look down on because. Until you're in that person's shoes, you, you don't understand what they've been through. It's just a lot to it than just, oh, you're accepting a man doing this to you. Got to go deeper than that. But anyways, the point here is that's the way they think. That's the way they see things. For them, they're not going to change. Those guys are not going to change. So let me say this because some people believe once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't agree with that. I do believe that people can... Uh, correct certain issues. I do believe people can evolve. I do believe that some some relationships are just mismatched people. They don't belong together and there's inevitably going to be something that will go wrong. And cheating a lot of times is one of those things. However, if they end up with the right person, the person that they truly fit with, I do believe that they can live a life of being faithful um, to this one person. So, it can change, but these men I'm speaking about specifically, the ones who live this as a lifestyle, they're not changing. They're not changing because to them, they see nothing wrong with it. To those guys, every man cheats. That's how they think, process it. Every man cheats, so of course, he gonna, he's gonna do it too. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life. But there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends,